as you are such a well-known physicist and scientist, practically every schoolboy knows about you wow. throughout the world. I would like to ask, after all these four or five dialogues that we have had, What will change man? Well, <laughs> what will bring about a radical transformation in, in the total consciousness of human, human being? Well, I mean, I don't know that the scientific background is going to be very relevant to that question. Would be? I said, no, it's not clear that the scientific background must be relevant to that question. No, probably not. But after we have talked a considerable uh, mm. at length, not only now, but in the previous years, what is the energy? I'm using the energy mm -hmm. not in any scientific sense, just ordinary sense. The vitality, the energy, the drive, which he seems to be lacking. I mean, after all, if I listen to you as a, a viewer, the three of us, I would say, yes, it's all very well for these philosophers or these scientists, or these experts, mm -hmm. but it's outside my field. It's too far away. Bring it nearer. Bring it much closer so that, not so that I can deal with my life. Well, I think at the end of the last uh, discussion, we were touching on one, on one point of that nature because we were th discussing images. Images, yes. And the self-image. And the uh, questioning whether we have to st have images at all. Right? Of course, we went into that. But you see, I want, as a viewer, totally outside, listening to you for the first time, the three of you, I say, look, how does it touch my life? Is it so? It's all so vague and uncertain, and mm. needs a great deal of thinking, which I'm unwilling to do. <laughs> you no. follow? So please tell me, in a few words or at length, what am I to do with my life? Where am I to touch it? Where am I to break, break it down? Where am I to... from where am I to look at it? I have hardly any time. I go to the office, I go to the factory, I've got so many things to do. Children, wife, nagging, uh, poverty, you follow the mm. whole structure of misery, and you sit there, you three, and talk about something which <laughs> that mm. doesn't touch me in the least. Mm. So could we bring it down to brass tacks, as it were, to where I can grapple with it as an ordinary human being. Well, could we consider uh, uh, the problems arising in daily relationship as the starting point? That is the essence, isn't it? Yes. I was going to begin with that. Yes. See, my relationship with human beings is in the office, in the factory, on a golf, golf course. Or at home. Or at home. And at home, it is pretty, you know, a routine, sex, mm, children, if I have children, if I want children. And the constant battle, battle, battle all my life. Insulted, wounded, hurt. Yes. Everything is going on in me and around me. 
Yes, there's continual disappointment. Continual disappointment, continual hope, con desire to be more successful, mm. more money, more, 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 more of everything. Now, where is my, how am I to alter, change my relationship? What is the raison d'etre, the source of my relationship. If we could tackle that little bit this morning, a little bit, and go on to what we were discussing really, which was much, which is really very important, which is not to have an image at all. Yeah. But I mean, it seems that, uh, as we were discussing yesterday, we tend to be related uh, almost always through the image, in other words. Through the image, that's right. Now, say, I have an image of myself and of you as you should be in relation to me. Yes. And then that gets uh, disappointed and hurt, and, and so on. But how am I to change that image? Mm. How am I to break it down? I know, I, I know after you have talked to me as an ordinary human being, I see very well I've got an image, and I, it has been pu uh, put together, constructed, through generations, and I've got it. I am fairly intelligent, I'm fairly aware of myself, and I see I've got it. How am I to break it down? Well, the, f the point, uh, as I see it, is that I, I've got to be aware of that image, to watch it as it moves, you see. So, am I to watch it? I want to... Yes. I'm, I'm taking the opposite. <laughs> am I to watch it? In the office? Yes. In the factory, at home, on the golf club? Because all those, in all these areas, mm. are my relationships. Yes. I would say I have to watch it on all those places, and also when I'm not there. When I'm not there. So I have to watch it all the time, in fact. Yes. Now, am I capable of it? Have I got the energy? Because my wife wants sex. Mm. <laughs> I don't want, or I enjoy sex, I go through all kinds of miseries, and at the end of the day I've hardly, I crawl into bed. And you say, I must have energy. Yes. So I, I must realize relationship is the greatest importance. Yes. Therefore I'm willing to give up certain uh, wastage of energy. Which wastage? Hmm? What kind of wastage? Drink. Drink, yes. Smoke. Useless chatter. Yes. Endless crawling from pub to pub. Well, that would be the beginning, anyway. Yeah, that would be the beginning. But I'm, you see, I want all those plus more. <laughs> you <laughs> well, no, but if I can see that everything depends on this. Of course. Then I won't go to the pub, you see, <coughs> if I see that that interferes. So, I must... As an ordinary human being, I must realize the greatest importance is to have right relationship. Yes, uh, <clears throat> but I mean that if I don't, it would be good if we could say what happens when we don't have it, you see, that we... Oh, when I don't have it, of course. Then everything goes to pieces. Everything goes to pieces. Every, not only everything goes to pieces, I, I create such havoc around hmm. So, can I, by putting aside smoke, drink, pubs, and, you know, the endless chatter about this or that, will I gather that energy? Well, that's the beginning. I mean, that, uh, that's what I'm asking. Will I gather that energy which will help me to face the picture which I have, mm. the image which I have? Yes, it means going also ambition and oh, many other things. Of course, you see, I begin by obvious things like smoke, drink, yes. pub, all the rest of the channel. Now, let me just stop you here. Suppose my image is that you're going to do it for me. And uh, my real image is that I can't do it for myself. Oh, that's one of our favorite conditioning, hmm? 
that I can't do it myself, therefore I must go to somebody to help me. Or I go to the pub because I see I can't do it for myself, so I create the condition. I, several things come from my going to the pub. One is I'm in despair because I can't do it for myself, so I'm going to obliterate myself through drink. So I don't no longer feel this pain. That's, well, at least for the moment. That's right. right. And also, too, I'm proving to myself that my image that I can't do it for myself is right. right. After all, look at me. I'm on the ground in the gutter. <laughs> you going to deny that? Second of all, uh, by treating myself in such a way, I'm going to prove to you I can't do it myself. No, Maybe I'll get no, you to do it for I me. Think, uh, I think we don't realize, any of us, the utter and absolute importance of right relationships. I don't think we realize it. I agree with you. We don't. With my wife, with my neighbor, with, with the office, wherever I am, I don't think we realize, with nature also, a, a relationship which is easy, quiet, full, rich, mm -hmm. happy, uh, you know, the, the well, beauty of it, mm -hmm. the harmony of it. We don't realize that. Now, can we Tell the ordinary viewer, the listener, the great importance of that. Let's try. How can we, how can we communicate to somebody the value of a right relationship? You're my wife. You're whining. You're <laughs> nagging me, right? You think that I should be doing something from you when I'm tired and I don't feel like doing anything for you. Right? Go to a party. That's right. Let's go to the party, right? Mm -hmm. You should, uh, you never take me out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. You never take me anywhere. Yes. Right. So I how are we, <laughs> how are you, how are you uh, who realize the importance of relationship hmm, to deal with me? Hmm? How are you to deal? No, I mean, we've got this problem in life. Yes, I mean, as, as I think it should be very clear that nobody can do it for me. You see that it whatever somebody else does it won't affect my relationship with it. And how are you going to make that clear but isn't it obvious that, i mean i should say it's it. not obvious they i feel very strongly i'm the viewer i feel very strongly that you ought to be doing it for me but how my mother it? never did it for me somebody's got to do it for me but, i mean isn't it obvious that it can't be done i mean i'm saying that that's a, just a delusion because uh, uh, whatever you do i will be in the same relationship as before I mean, suppose you live a perfect life. I mean, I can't uh, imitate it, so, you know, I, I'll just go on as before, won't I? Right. So, uh, I have to do something myself. Right. Isn't that clear? But I don't feel able to do anything myself. But then, but then can you see that if you don't do anything yourself, then you're it's lost. It's inevitable. It must go on. Right. The, 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 any idea that it will ever get better is a delusion. It must well, do you want to say then, or can we say that right relationship begins with the realization that I have to do something for myself. And the utter importance of it. Right. The utter importance, the responsibility I have for myself. Because you are the world. Right. And the world is you. Right. You can't shirk that. Well, that, perhaps we could discuss that a bit, because it may seem strange to the viewer, to some of the viewers, <laughs> to say I am the world. But you are, after all, all that you are thinking, all your you are the result of the culture, the climate, the food, the environment, the economic conditions, your grandparents. You are the result of all that. Well, you can see that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think I, you can see that's that. That's right, yes. I, I, that's what you mean. I mean, just want to say, that's right. what you mean by saying you are the world. That well, I think you can see that in just what I've just been laying out here about the person who feels that he's entitled to be taken care of by yes. the world. The world is, in fact, moving in that direction of all the pleasure and the no, technological... So, I mean, this is a simple fact. You go to India, you see the same suffering, same anxiety, mm -hmm. and you come to Europe, America. It's, it's a set in, in a essence, it is the same. So each person has the same basic structure of, of suffering course. and confusion yeah. and uh, deception and so on. And therefore, if I say I am the world, I mean that there's a universal structure, and I am, it's part of me and I'm part of part that. Part of that, right. So now let's proceed from right. there. The first thing. You have to tell me, as an ordinary human being, living in this mad rat race, 
you have to tell me, look, realize the other greatest important things in life is relationship. Mm -hmm. You cannot have relationship if you have an image about yourself. Or if you, if you create a pleasurable image and stick to that. Or the image that you're entitled to, so that it comes before... Any, any form of image mm -hmm. you have about another or about yourself prevents the beauty of relationship. Right. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. say the image that I'm secure in such and such a situation, for example. Right. Yes. And not secure in a different situation, and that prevents relationship. That's right. Right. Because I will say, I, I demand of the other person that he put me in the situation that I think is secure, you see. Right. And then he may not want to. <coughs> right. So that my relationship, if I have the image of the pleasurable relationship, and I, then my, all my actions mm -hmm. are with reference to this other person that I try to force him to, to me. leave, move me into doing that, so that I have, A, I say to him, you should be this way, because yes. that would complete my image. Two, I have what I call claims on the other person. In other words, I expect him to yeah. act in such a way that he acknowledges uh, that image. Yes, yeah, so or I may say, uh, I have the image of what is just and right, and so right. on. And so in other words, I, it's not that it's personally so, but I say that, that would be the right way for everybody to behave. Right, in order to complete my yeah, image. Yes, and so but for example, I would say that, I say the wife says, you know, Husbands ought to take their wives out to parties frequently. Right. <laughs> That's part of the image. Right. right. <laughs> or husbands have corresponding images. And right. Right. And therefore, uh, 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 and then that image gets hurt, do you see? Right. Because now, the, the, but that, I think we have to be very specific about that each little piece of this yeah. is, is with fury. With energy I and see. energy and fury, necessity to complete this image in relationship. Therefore, yeah. relationship gets forced into a mold. Yes, sir, but I understand all that. But you see, most of us are not serious. We want an easy life. You come along, and tell me, look, relationship is the greatest thing. I said quite right, and I carry on the old way. What I'm trying to get at is, what will make a, a human being listen to this even seriously for two minutes? Mm -hmm. They won't listen to you. Right. If you went to one of the big uh, experts on psychology or whatever it is, they won't take time to listen to you. Right. They've got their plans, their pictures, their images. You follow? They're surrounded by all this. Mm -hmm. So, to whom are we talking to? Well, to whoever can... We're listen. talking to ourselves. No, <laughs> not only that. To whom are we talking to? Well, there, uh, whoever is able to listen. I mean. That means somebody who is somewhat serious. Yes. And I think, you see, that we even may form an image of ourselves as not capable of being serious and so on, you know. That that's right. In other words, that it's too hard or... Too hard, yeah. That that's an image to say that uh, I want it easy, which means it comes from the image, this is beyond my capacity. Right. right. So, let's move from there. Mm -hmm. Right. We say, as long as you have an image, mm -hmm. pleasant or unpleasant, created etc., etc., put together by thought and so on, there is no right relationship. That's, a, that's an obvious fact, right. no? Right. Yes, and life ceases to have any value without right relationship. Yes. Life ceases to have any value without right relationship. Now, my, my consciousness is filled with these images. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? And the images make my consciousness. That's right. Now you are asking me to have no images at all. That means no consciousness as I know it now. Mm -hmm. Right, sir? Yes. Well, 
could we say anyway that the major part of consciousness is the self-image? Is that what you're saying? There yes. may be some other parts, but we come to we'll come to that later. But the most of it for now is yes. we're mostly occupied with the self-image. That's right. Mm -hmm. What about the self-image and the whole way it generates itself? What do you think? Well, I think we discussed that before, that it, it, it gets caught on thinking of the self as real. Mm -hmm. And it's always implicit to say, you know, uh, for example, the image may be that I am suffering in a certain way. And you see, or I must get rid of the suffering, but you see, there's always the implicit uh, meaning in that, that I am there real. And right. therefore, I must keep on thinking about this reality. <laughs> Right. And, right. The, the, and it gets caught in that feedback we were talking about, that, uh, you see, that, that the thought uh, feeds back mm -hmm. and, and, and builds up. And builds up more images. More images, yeah. More images. And so that's the consciousness. I mean, the content of my consciousness, consciousness is all images. Is vast uh, n n series of images. Right. Interrelated, not separate, interrelated. Mm -hmm. But they're all centered on the self. Then. Yeah, it's, of course. The self is the yeah. center. Yes, because they're all aimed at, they're all for the self, yeah. to, in order to make the self right, you know, correct. And, and yeah. the self is regarded as all important. Yes. And that gives it tremendous energy. Which now, means, what I'm uh, getting at is, you're asking me, who am fairly serious, mm -hmm. fairly intelligent, as an ordinary human being, you're asking me to empty that consciousness. Right. I'm asking you to stop this image making. Not only the image, the, the images that I have, mm -hmm. and and uh, prevent further image making. Mm. Right. Right. Both are involved. Yes. Yes. I'm asking you to look at the machinery of consciousness. Yes. Wait a minute. Well, I want to get at that. This is very important because... Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me, and I want to understand you, because mm -hmm. I want to do... I really want to live a different kind, different way of living, because I see, I see it is necessary. I don't play with words. Right. I am not... I don't want to be high floating. <laughs> I want to deal with this thing. Okay. You're asking me to be free of the self, which is the maker of images, mm -hmm. and to prevent further image making. Right. And I say, please tell me what to do, how to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you tell me, moment when you ask me how to do it, you are already building an image. Yes. The system, right. the method. Yeah, I mean, one could say that you say, when you say, how am I to do it, so you have already put I in the middle. In the middle. The same image as before with a different, slightly different content. So, so you tell me, don't ever ask how to do it. Because mm -hmm. the how involves the me doing it. Mm. Right, right. Therefore, I'm, I'm creating another picture. Right. So that shows the way the thing you slip into it, because you say how to do it. The word me is not there, but it's there implicitly. Implicitly, yes. And therefore, you slip in. Because how am I to do it? Yeah. Of course. But it's the way it, it usually slips in because it's there implicitly and not explicitly. Yes, so That's implicit. often the trick. I mean. Explicit. Yes. Right, right. Now, so you stop me, and say, then proceed from there. How am I to free the, this consciousness, have a, even a corner of it, <laughs> a limited part of it, is there, what is, what is the action that will do it? I want to discuss it with you. Right. Don't tell me how to do it. I've understood. Yeah, yeah. I've understood. I will never again ask how to do it. That yeah. how, as he explained, implies impli implicit, yeah. implicit in the me, the me wanting to do it, and therefore the me is the factor of the image maker. 
Right. right. I've understood that very clearly. Right. Then I said to you, I realize this. What, what, I have, what am I to do? Do you realize it? Yes. I know it. I know I am making images all the time. I'm very well aware. Yeah, but at wait, what wait, point? let me finish. I'm very well aware of it. My wife calls me an idiot. Right. Uh, already yeah. registered in the brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thought takes it over. It becomes uh, the image which I have about myself is hurt. Yes. Right? Yes. So this process I know is, I'm very well aware of this. Right. Because I have discussed with you, I have gone into it. I see, uh, because I have realized right from the beginning, during these talks and in dialogues, that relationship is the greatest importance in life. Right. Without that, life is chaos. Got it. Mm -hmm. I've, that has been driven into me. Mm -hmm. And I see Every flattery and every insult is registered in the brain. Right. And thought then takes it over, as memory, and creates an image. That's right. And the image gets hurt. That's right. When you want to say the image is the hurt. That is the hurt. Because Quite. the image is the pleasure, and then with the new content of, you know, of insult, when the content is flattery, the image is pleasure. And when the content is insult, the image is hurt. Right. So, that's right. Dr. Boom, what is what to do? What am I to do? Yeah, How am yeah. I? There are yeah. two, two things involved yeah. in it. One, to prevent further hurts. Mm -hmm. Right. And to be free of all the hurts that I've had. But they're both the same principle. I, 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 I think you explained to me. Yeah. I think. There are two principles involved. Are there? Uh, you, you see, one to prevent it. Yeah. The other to wipe away that the hurts I have. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather put it a little bit other way. Put it's it not in. just that you want to prevent the further hurt, but it seems to me you must first say, how am I to be aware of the fact that I take flattery? Uh, I mean, how are you going to get aware? I want you to be. A, uh, look, I want you to see that if I flatter you. You get a big inner gush, you start feeling big inside your belly, and then you get a fantasy about, well, if, you were, if you're wonderful this way, then you'll be twice as wonderful. So now you've got an image of yourself as this wonderful person who fits this flattery. Yes. I want you to see yourself eat my candy. No, I get, no you have told me very clearly it is the... Two sides of the same coin. Right. Pleasure and right. pain are the same. The same. Exactly same. the same. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have told me that. That's right. I'm telling you that. I have understood it. They're both images. Yeah. Both images. Right. So how am please, my question you're not answering. How am I realizing all this? I'm a fairly intelligent man. Mm -hmm. I've read a great deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ordinary man, I personally don't read, so ordinary <laughs> man I'm talking about. Right. I've read a great deal. Right. I've, I've discussed this and I see and I see how extraordinarily important all this is. Right. Mm -hmm. And I say I realized that this the two sides of the same coin. Right. Mm -hmm. The brain registers right. and the whole thing begins. Right. Now how am I? To end that, not the how, not the method. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't tell me what to do. Right. I can't. I won't accept it because it means nothing to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, sir? Yeah, give me an answer. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were discussing whether there is a difference between the stored up uh, uh, hurts and the ones which are to come. That's right. That's the first thing I have to understand. Tell me. Well, I would. It seems to me that you know that fundamentally they they also work on the same principle. How? Well, if you take the hurt 
that is to come. And I was, my brain is already disposed to, uh, you know, set up in order uh, uh, to um, make, uh, you know, to uh, to respond with an image. No, my, your, I don't understand you. Make it much simpler. Right. Well, it seems to me I'll make you. I mean, one ah, thing. I'm asking him. No, okay. ah, you are an expert at it. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have dozens of victims. He has he's only one victim. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, the, there's no distinction really between the past hurts and the present one because they all come from the past. Right? I mean, come from the reaction of the past. So you are say, that's right. You you are telling me, don't divide the mm. past hurt or the future. Yeah. Because the image is the same. Yes. The, the process is the same. Process. Therefore, the image is receiving. Right? Yeah. Yes, it, it really doesn't matter <coughs> because I may just be reminded of the past hurt. That is the same as somebody else insulting me. I mean, isn't yes. it? Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you are saying to me, don't divide the past or the future hurt. Mm -hmm. There is only hurt. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is only pleasure. So, look at that. Hmm? Look at the image, not in terms of the past hurts and the future hurts, but just look at that image, which which is which is both the past and the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Right. But we're saying look at the image, you know, not in its particular content, but its general structure. Yes. yes. That's right. Now, then, my next question is, how am I to look at? Because I have already an image, <laughs> hmm. with which I am going to look. That I must, that I must suppress it. You promise um, to me by your words, not promise exactly, give me hope that if I have right relationship, I live a life that will be extraordinarily beautiful. I will know what love is and all the rest of it. Hmm. Therefore, I have already excited by this idea. But then I have to be aware of the image that, of that kind too, right? Yes, yes. Therefore, how am I, that's my point, how am I to look at this image? I know I have an image, not only one image, but several images, but the center of that image is me, the I. I know all that. Now, how am I to look at it? I, may we proceed now? No. Right. The, is the observer different from that which is observing? Yes, well... Uh, that is the real the question. question. Yes. yes, well, uh, you could say that's the root of the power of the image. Yes. Then. yes. You see, sir, mm. what happens if there is a difference between the observer and the mm -hmm. observed, there is that interval of time yes. mm, in which other activities go on. Well, yes, in which the, the brain sort of uh, eases itself into yes. something more pleasant, there, yes. you say. Yes. But, yes, that, that's all right. And the, where there is a division, there is conflict. So you are telling me to observe in a different way, learn the art of observing, which is that the observer is the observed. Yes, but I think we could look you know, first at our whole uh, tr tradition, you see, our whole conditioning, which is the observer is different, different. from the observed. In of other course. Words, we perhaps should look at that for a while. Yes. Uh, because that is what everybody feels. Yeah, that the observer is different. Yeah, and uh, when, when I, mean, I think it ties up with what I was saying yesterday about uh, reality. Yes. Saying there's a reality, uh, everything we think is reality, uh, of some kind, you see, because at least it's thought, real thought. But uh, there is two, we make a, a distinction in reality between that reality which is self-reference, self-sustaining, you know, it uh, stands independent of thought, and uh, 
the reality which is sustained by thought, right? Yes, Re reality sustained by thought. And the reality which may have been made by man, but it uh, yes. stands by itself like the table or else like nature, which is different. It's from different. Yes, that which, we, be we went through. The and now, the observer, ordinarily we think uh, uh, that when I'm thinking of myself, that self is a reality which is independent of thought, you see. Isn't yes, that? we think that's independent of thought. Uh, and there, and that, there, that, that, that self is the observer who is a reality. Quite. Who is uh, independent of thought and who is thinking, who is yes. producing thought. But it is the product of thought. It is, yes, but that's the confusion. Now, yes, quite, quite, quite. Uh, now, but are, you, are you telling me, sir, as an outsider, that the observer is the result of the past. Yes, uh, one can see that. My memories, my experiences, yes. uh, all the rest of the past. Yeah, but I think if we think of the viewer now, he might find it a little hard to follow that <laughs> if he hasn't gone into it. You see, uh, very hard. I think. Uh, How did it communicate to? to How it is it? fairly simple. What do you mean? Don't you live in the past? Right. I, I think uh, wait, I think no, I exist no, in the past. No, no, no. Your life is the past. Right. You are living in the past. Right. Right? Oh, that's right, yeah. Past memories, past experiences. Past, past memories, past, past becoming, and, trying to And become. from the past you project the future. That's hope. Right. Uh, hope will be better, right. it'll be, I'll be good, I'll be different. Right. It's always from the past to the future. That's right. That's how, it, that's how it's lived. Now, now I want to see that past is the me. Of course. Yeah, but it does look as if it's something independent right. just that you're looking at. I mean, I, <coughs> is it independent? It, it isn't, but to see that maybe... I know, that's what we're asking. That's is it, is the me independent from the past? It looks as if the me is here looking at the past. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. It the me is in a jar. Right. The me is in a, in a jar. And that's looking... Right. right. That's right. But, but the me is the product of the past. Right. Uh, you can see that, but the, what is that jump that we go through where we say the me is, I can say to you, I can see that I am the product of the past. I can see that. How do you see it? Intellectually. I see it intellectually. And then, it, then you don't see it. Right. That's what I'm coming to. Now, then I you are playing it. tricks. Right. I see it as an intellectual that's but right that's right it, 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 i see it intellectually do you see this intellectually no why there's an immediacy of perception there in the same way why isn't there an immediacy of perception of a truth which is that you are the past not to make it an intellectual affair because time comes in i imagine that i've gone through time what do you mean you imagine well, I have an, an image of myself at three, I have an image of myself at ten, and I have an image of myself at seventeen, and I say that they followed in sequence in time, and I see myself having developed over time. I am different now than I was five years ago. Are you? Well, I'm telling you, that's how I, I've got that <laughs> image. That image is of a developmental sequence yeah, I in time, that, right? So. Yes. And uh, I exist as uh, a storehouse of memories of a, a bunch of uh, accumulated incidents. That means uh, time, time has produced that. Right. Mm -hmm. That is time, right? I see time. that. Right. What is time? I just described it to you. Time no, is my what is, time? Is, is, time. is a no, movement. In it's a memory. movement. Right. Hmm? right. It's a movement. That's right. Right. The movement from the past. Hmm? That's right. That's it. I moved from the time from of the three. Is from the past. It's a movement. That's right. Mm -hmm. From three to ten, seventeen. It's, it's, it's right. a movement. Right. Now, is that movement an actuality? What do you mean by actuality? Or is it an image? Huh? Is it an image or is it an actual fact? Yes. I mean, you see, uh, if I have an image of, you know, myself and saying I need this, but that may not be an actual fact, right? That may, it's just an image, image is not a fact. Right, right. 
But I feel... I know, this, this, this. what you feel is it's like saying, uh, my experience, your experience may be the most absurd experience. No, but that, that's casting me aside by saying, look, uh, you've got this going on. This is a... Fa I'm, I'm describing an actual... Uh, but but that's, just that's the whole point about the image is that it imitates <laughs> an actual fact. You see, that you get that feeling it's real. You see, in other words, I feel that I'm really there, an actual fact, looking at the past, at how I developed, right? Right. But is that a fact that I'm doing that? What do you mean? That, that I'm that, well, see, it, it's an actual fact that I get the feeling that I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, but I mean, is it an actual fact that that is, that that's the way it, it, it all is and was and so on? Do you see that that is, all the implications of that are correct? I mean, no, it is not an actual, I can see the incorrectness uh -huh. of my memory which constructs me in time. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, I was much more at three than I can remember. I'm much more, I was much more at 10 than I can remember, and there was much more that went on, obviously, and actuality at 17 than I have in my memory. Yeah, but now the me who is here now right. is looking at all that. That's right. right. But is, is, he, is he there and is he looking? <laughs> That's the question. Is the me that is... An actuality. An actuality. As this is. Well, let's... let's uh, stick to it, stick to it. That's what I'm going to do. What is an actuality is this development, this image of a developmental sequence. <laughs> and the yeah. me who is looking at it. And the me who's looking at it, right. <laughs> That's right. You see, I think there's one of the things we slip out because we say there is the developmental sequence objectively. So, uh, implying me is looking at it like I'm looking at the, at the plant, right? Right. But... It may be, or in fact it is, that the me who is looking at it is is an image, as is the developmental sequence. Right. right. You're saying, then, that this image of me is... is non-reality. It's no reality. Well, it, the only reality is that it's thought, right? <laughs> yes, it's not a reality it. independent of thinking, right? So we must go back to find out what is reality. Right. Reality, we said, is everything thing that thought has put together. Uh, the table, wait a minute, yeah. the illusion, hmm? right. the churches, the nations, everything that thought has contrived, put together, is reality. Right. But nature is not reality, is right. not put together by thought, but it's a reality. It's right. a reality independent of independent thought. Independent of thought. Right. But you see, is the me who uh, is looking a reality that is independent of thought, like nature? That's the whole point. You understood? Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, 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 I'm beginning to see. Let me ask you a question. What is, can you say anything about the difference for you between your... No, that's not fair. I was going to say, is there any difference for you between this perception, the perception of this, and your perception of the me? This is real me, it's not real. <laughs> Me is not real, but your perception of me. It, it doesn't exist. Yeah, suppose you perceive but your it. perception of the image. I have no image. I, if I have no image, where is the me? Well, well, could, could I, but I have an image of me. Well, could I okay. put it another way? Now, what's my perception of me? Well, could I put it another way? Suppose you're watching a conjuring trick and uh, say you perceive a woman being sawn in half, you see. <laughs> And then when you see the trick, you say, what is your perception of this woman who is being sawed in half? You say, it isn't because she isn't being sawed in half, right? Mm -hmm. You see, I'm trying to say, as long as you uh, don't see through the trick, what you see, apparently real, is somebody being cut in half, right? Right. <laughs> but you've missed certain points. Right. And, but when you see the points that you've missed, you don't see anybody being cut in half. Right. Right. You just see a trick. Right. So I've missed the essence of it. No, sir, just be, let's be simple. That's right. We said we have images. Mm -hmm. And how am uh, I know I have images, and you tell me to look at it, to be aware of it, to, to perceive the image. The, is the perceiver different from the perceived? That's all my question. I know, I know. 
because if he is different, then the whole process of conflict will go on endlessly. Right? Mm -hmm. But if there are, there is no division, the, the observer is the observed, then the whole problem changes. Right. Right? Right. So is the observer different from the observed? Obviously not. Mm -hmm. So, can I look at that image without the observer? And is there an image when there is no observer? Because mm -hmm. the observer makes the image. Because the observer is the movement of thought. Well, we shouldn't call it the observer then. Because you're not, it's not looking at, you see, I think the language is confusing. The language is. Because if you say it's an observer, that implies that something is looking, do you see? No. Yes, quite. What you're really meaning is that thought is moving and creating an image as if it were looking, but nothing is being seen, I mean. Yes. Therefore, there's no observer. Quite right. But put it on the other way, is there a thinking without thought? What? Is there a thinker without thought? No. Exactly. There we are. If there is no experiencer, is there an experience? Huh? So, you've asked me to look at my image, and you said, look at it, which is a very um, serious and very penetrating demand. You say, look at it without the observer. Because the observer is the image maker. Mm -hmm. And if there is no ob observer, the, if there is no thinker, there is no thought. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is no image. Right. You have taught you have shown me something enormously significant. As you said, the, cha the question changes completely. Completely is completely it's gone. Different. I'm right. no image. Right. It feels completely different. It's like then it, 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 there's a silence. Right? So, so, so I'm saying, as my consciousness is the consciousness of the world, mm -hmm. hmm? because right. in, uh, in essence, is filled with the things of thought, sorrow, fear, pleasure, despair, anxiety, attachment, detachment, hope, or it's that turmoil mm -hmm. of confusion, mm -hmm. a sense of deep agony in, involved in it all. And in that state you cannot have any relationship with any human being. Mm. So you say to me, to, to have the greatest and the most responsible relationship is to have no image. That's to be responsive to what is. No, I don't, don't yeah. translate it. Well, it is. I mean, yeah. it just means to yeah. be responsive, yeah. to open it yes. up. So, you have pointed out to me that to be free of images, the maker of image must be absent. The maker of the image is the past, is the observer who says, I like this, I don't like this, it's my wife, mm -hmm. my husband, my house, you follow? The, the me, mm -hmm. who is the, in essence, the image. So you see, I've understood this. Now, next question is, is the image deep hidden? Are the images hidden which I can't grapple, which I can't get hold of? You follow me? Are they in the cave, in the, in the underground, mm -hmm. somewhere hidden, which you have told me there are? Hmm? Mm -hmm. All you experts have told me, yes, there are dozens of Right. Underground images. Hmm? How am I? Because I accept you. 
I don't. I say, yes, but they must know. They know much more than I do. Therefore, I, they say so, so I accept it. So I say, yes, there are underground images. Now, how am I to unearth them, expose them out? See, you, you have put me, the ordinary man, into a terrible position. Well, you don't have to unearth them once this, if this is clear to you, there's no... But you, but you have established no. already in me the poison. You don't exist <laughs> anymore. Once it's clear to you that the, that, that the observer is the observed... Therefore, you're saying there is no unconscious. Right. Huh? You the expert? No, I said... <laughs> <laughs> You who talk endlessly about unconscious to your patients? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. And therefore, you say there is no unconscious. Right. I agree with you. Right. I say it is so. Right. Moment when you see the observer is the observed, the observer is the maker of images. Right. It's finished. Finished. Right. Right through. Right. If you really see and that. that. That's it. So, the consciousness which I, in which, uh, which, I, which I know, which in which we have lived, has gone a tremendous transformation. Has it? Has it to you? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I mean, don't. Has it to you? And if I may ask Dr. Baum, both of us, all of us, realizing that the observer is the observed, and therefore the image maker is no longer in existence, mm -hmm. and so the content of consciousness, which makes up consciousness, is not as we know it. Right? Mm -hmm. What then? Five minutes. I don't know how to answer you. Then. So did you, you follow? Yeah. I'm asking this question because it involves meditation. Mm -hmm. I'm asking this question because all the religious people the really serious ones, I'm not talking the mm. gurus and all their flummery. The real serious people who have gone into this question, as long as we live in daily life within the area of this consciousness, mm, mm -hmm. of anxiety, fear and all the rest of it, with all its images, and the image maker, Whatever we do will still be in that area. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I may join one year, mm -hmm. Zen, mm -hmm. become a Zen, shave my head and do all kinds of stuff. Then another year I go become a, some guru, follow guru, and so on and so on. But it's always within that area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So what happens when I when there is no movement of thought, which is the image making, what then takes place? You understand my question? Mm -hmm. When time, which is the movement of thought, ends, then what? What is? What is there? Because you have led me up to up to this point. I understand it very well. I have tried Zen Buddhism, I have tried Zen meditation, I have tried Hindu meditation, I have tried all the kinds of miserable practices and all that. And I meet you, I hear you, and I say, by Joe, there is something extraordinary these people are saying. Huh? They said, the moment there is, when there is no image maker, the 
content of consciousness undergoes a radical transformation hmm? and thought comes to an end except when it is absolutely hmm. has its right place, knowledge and all the rest of it. So thought comes to an end. Time has a stop. What then? Do you understand? Is that death? It's the death of the and self. <laughs> We've got three minutes more. We've got one minute more. One Is minute. Oh, it's, it's, it's destruction. No, no, sir. It's much more than that. It's the end of no, something. No, no, Just listen to it. When thought stops, when there is no image maker, there is a complete transformation in consciousness because there is no anxiety, there is no fear, there is no pursuit of pleasure, there is none of the things that create turmoil, division. And what comes into being or what happens, not as an experience because that's out, what takes place in that? I follow, I have to find out. You may be leading me up the wrong path. 